from the little dial at the bottom of traffic lights to the hole in Molopop sticks and the clever cap on utility knives. Here are 10 more everyday things you probably don't know the purpose of. Number 10. Utility Knife Caps Many utility knife blades have to be snapped off in order to have a nice new sharp blade, but people usually go out of their way to grab pliers or gloves to snap off the blade. There's no need though, because there's a break-off slot right here at the back. You can pry off this part at the back of the knife to use that to break the blade off. First of all, slide the blade back to safe and then pry off the back. With some knives, you'll need to pry it off with a butter knife, but this one has a handy pin, which you can easily push and slide it off. To prepare the blade, make sure to set it just at the right point where there's only one break offline showing. Then lock the blade by pulling back this tab. Now simply insert the blade into the back of the cap and snap it off. If you're lucky enough to afford two knives, you don't even need to take off the end. Just use the end of one of the knives to snap the blade off the other. Finally, it's best to wrap the snap to part in tape to ensure that no one gets cut when it's disposed of. Number 9. Little Hole Between the Lens and Flash on an iPhone If you have one of the latest iPhone models, you've probably seen the little hole between the flash and the lens and wondered what it's for. It's actually a tertiary microphone. Yes, that's right. The iPhone has three microphones. The other ones are located at the bottom, near the headphone port, and on the front next to the FaceTime camera. On other phones, they usually exist at the bottom. So, why so many microphones on the iPhone, you may ask? The reason for it's on the back is quite simple. It helps to capture sound better when you're recording a video. Then, if the hole is facing out the front or side of the device. Also, it's great for noise cancellation. So, if the person on the other end can hear you crystal clear. Even if you're in a crowded bus, the end result is a more clear, crisp sound. Unless, of course, your phone case is designed to survive a nuclear apocalypse. Number 8. Button on Lids As a child, these buttons on drink lids can provide you with an easy 5 minutes of entertainment, but they actually serve a practical function too. Most of the buttons are labeled, whether it's the variety of hot drink or whether or not it's labeled as diet. These buttons are there to help you rid of the days of having to try all the drinks to figure out which one is yours. Instead, you just have to simply check the lid. Number 7. Beer Bottleneck the neck of a beer bottle isn't just a sleek design feature or a convenient alleyway for the beer to make its way into your mouth. It was in fact designed this way for people to hold, so that's as little body heat as possible is transferred into the beer, making the drinking experience more pleasurable for everyone involved. Unless, of course, you happen to be the taxi driver who is taking you home at the end of the night. Number 6. Metal Plate on a Stapler Most of you staple things without regard to the way in which you're binding the thing that's being stapled. Surprisingly, there are actually two ways to staple things. The way you're probably familiar with is the permanent method of stapling. It's the default setting on a stapler. Yes, there are actually settings on a stapler. It all has to do with this metal plate or anvil which has two rows of holes. You've probably seen it, but you didn't realize what it's for. With the usual setting, the backside of the staple will be folded inwards like this. Sometimes, this method of fastening is too strong and difficult to remove, so that's when the temporary method of fastening comes into play. All you have to do is rotate the plate on the bottom of your stapler. Then, when you staple, it will bend staples outward instead of inward to fasten things temporarily. This method is, by far, the least known and utilized stapling method. You can now easily remove a pin staple by pulling it along the plane of the document. A lot of modern staplers don't have this feature anymore, but the larger old school models do. Grab on for yourself for a few seconds of entertainment. Number 5. The Hole at the End of a Lollipop Stick Even though this hole at the end of the lollipop stick looks like a hole on a flute or whistle, it isn't there to whistle through when you're finished with your lollipop. It's actually there so that a little bit of candy can melt inside the hole. Just think about it without the hole. The extremely low amount of friction between the stick and the candy could sometimes cause the candy to fall off if you're too vicious with your licks. It sort of then behaves like a hook, holding the candy more securely onto the stick, allowing it to stay in place until you're done with consuming your diabetes-friendly food. Number 4. Dishur Scoops Everyone knows what these ice cream scoops are used for. I mean, it's kind of in the name. However, you might be surprised to know that they come in a multitude of different colors, but these colors aren't for aesthetics. These colors indicate the size of the scoop, and these sizes are based on the number of level scoops it takes to fill a 32-ounce container. So if you're looking for the perfect amount of scoops to fill up a cup, then just refer to this table. It should be noted that the yields do vary by manufacturer. So if you're looking for an absolute true yield for food costing purposes, your best bet is actually to measure the scoop, which you use. Numbers 3. Lids on drinks 
Again, lids for takeaway drinks are actually a lot more versatile than you first think, as not only do they stop you from spilling sticky liquid all over yourself, but they also double as a coaster. The different lid sizes are conveniently scaled up for the base of the cup to fit snugly into the reverse side of the lid, preventing you from creating sticky surfaces. Number 2. Hole in a Pen Cap A common misconception about the hole in the end of a ballpoint pen lid is that it's there to stop the ink from drying up or to whistle. That's just wrong. This hole is in fact there because many people, usually kids have an obnoxious habit of chewing pen caps, which sometimes leads them to swallowing it. That's why the hole exists, so that if swallowed the pen lid, wouldn't stop the person from breathing. This also explains why there is also a hole in Lego heads. If the hole wasn't present, then the cap may land in your windpipe and may block the airflow resulting in you choking. In fact, this is just one feature of writing instruments like pens that's come under strict guidelines and certificates required for manufacturing already estimates claim that 100 people a year die from choking on pen caps. So lots of preventative measures exist. Since being introduced, the hole in the pen cap has led to a decline in pen cap choking deaths. This isn't the only useful hole on a pen though, as the hole in the side or end of a ballpoint pen is designed to prevent a buildup of air pressure. This vent hole prevents a small vacuum from building up, which would stop ink flowing to the tip. It also prevents the pen from exploding during a change of pressure, such as on an airplane. Number 1. Traffic Lights Hidden Dial you may have not noticed this spinning dial under the button at a pedestrian crossing before, as it's rather hidden, but it has an interesting use. If you've never noticed it, then take a guess as to what it's for. I'll be impressed if you can figure it out. It isn't just something to keep bored children occupied, but actually exists as an indication to deaf and blind people for when the green man is showing and when it's safe to be crossing the road. Designed by the University of Nottingham, the dial spins when the lights show that it's okay for you to cross. Although, of course, you must proceed with caution, as you never know when some idiot will be speeding around the corner. They exist in the UK, but I'm not sure if they exist elsewhere. I'll be interested to hear if they do. There are pretty clever and helpful design feature. So that concludes this video, but don't worry, there are plenty more design quirks you can discover. Just click any video here. If you can think of any more features of everyday items that most people might not know, then let me know in the comments below, and it might feature in a future video. Also, please take the time to like this video. If you learn something, it really helps. Thanks for watching.